Germany's domestic intelligence agency is putting some members of the anti-lockdown Querdenker protest movement under surveillance. It allows authorities to collect data on individuals and groups who are suspected of spreading conspiracy theories and misinformation about the pandemic. The German Interior Ministry said the movement had extremist tendencies. It fears that its influence could last beyond the end of the pandemic. Well, for more on this, I'm now joined by our political correspondent, Anja Schaffenort, at our parliamentary studios here in Berlin. Anja, who exactly are the Querdenkers? It's a very, very diverse movement, isn't it? Yeah, Querdenken roughly translates as lateral thinking or thinking against the grain. And this movement was only founded last year as a direct response to the corona pandemic and more specifically uh, the German government's handling of the corona pandemic. So they're a very young movement, but they've already created quite a stir here in Germany. And they're at the heart of most of the big anti-lockdown uh, demonstrations that we've seen across the country in recent months. Um, and like you already said, they're a, they're a disparate bunch, really. They're not part of, of one political organisation or, or share a political persuasion. They're an eclectic mix of uh, people with, you know, legitimate grievances against um, government lockdown measures, uh, but also outright corona deniers, general conspiracy theorists. And then there's also right-wing extremists and even neo-Nazi groups that, that march alongside them. Um, in the Bundestag, the German parliament, they've got uh, support from the biggest opposition party, uh, the right-wing populist AFD. Uh, so why have they been put under surveillance now? It's not the whole movement that's under surveillance, is it? No, there are certain groups amongst the movement that have been put under surveillance. We don't know exactly which groups they are. But um, some German states had already had already put um, some of the movement under surveillance. That's Baden-Württemberg, for example, Hamburg and also Bavaria. And the Bavarian um, state leader, Markus Söder, uh, called for them to be put under national surveillance uh, as early as November last year. Um, now, that has now happened. Um, and of course, you should always sort of listen up uh, when... Uh, a government national intelligence service puts a group under surveillance who are protesting against government measures. Um, but the, the, the intelligence service has stated that that, the, that group, the Querdenker, are using what are legitimate demonstrations and concerns against um, government measures for illegitimate ends, um, and that is to undermine the German state and the German constitution. And um, what they said was particularly concerning were sort of connections to right-wing groups, especially uh, far-right extremists like the Reichsbürger, for example, who questioned the validity of the modern German state. Anja Schaffenort, thank you very much for this update.